If you're already subscribed, welcome back, my darling. But if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and join a part of the family and community that we have growing here on YouTube. And while you're down there subscribing, because I have faith that you will, also turn your notifications on for all of the notifications to become a part of the Morgan Shay. Notify, gang, gang, gang. All right, y'all. You know what time it is. Let's get into today's video. Today's video is none other than a story time. This story time is something else. But I'd started dating this guy and he was very bizarre. To the night that I broke up with him. We're going to call him, shit, I don't know, Jeremy. The night I break up with Jeremy, and I took a friend with me because, like I said, he was very bizarre. So, Jeremy lived in this little bitty teeny tiny town, and I literally go into Jeremy's house, break up with him, get back in the car, and we leave. Now, we probably headed to this man's house around 10 or 11 o'clock at night. By this point, it's probably 1130. And at the time, I was driving a really shitty car. And I call it the punishment car because it's what my nanny called it. She made me drive this car as a punishment because I acted like a spoiled little brat. Anyways, long story short, we get to the drag and my car literally, we stop at a red light right before like the interstate is in our distance. Like we can see it with our eyeballs. And when I go to go at the red light when it turns green, my car won't move. I'm like, fantastic. I know nobody else in this town. I know nobody. The closest person that I have around this area is my ex-boyfriend and not the one I'd just broken up with either, another ex-boyfriend. And I knew he had started seeing another girl, so I wasn't gonna call him. So I called Jeremy and I'm like, hey, I know I just broke up with you. I literally know nobody and I'm broke down. I'm at a red light. About this time, a police officer um, pulls up and he had another officer in the car with him and they get my car over out of the road. And they're like, are you gonna be good? And I said, yeah, I have somebody on the way. Y'all, we waited for a whole hour and I'm like, he's not coming. He's literally not coming. I called him again, he wasn't answering the phone. I'm like, What do we do? What do we literally do? If I call my nanny and need AAA at this point, almost one o'clock in the morning, I'm not getting a new car. Like that's all that I was thinking in my head. Like I'm not getting a new car. She's not gonna get me a new car because I'm in my punishment car. I was doing things to try to prove that I was, you know, not a little spoiled brat and that I deserved a new car. And then I got to thinking, well, maybe if she knows that it broke down, maybe this will be what gets me a new car. It wasn't. <laughs> so I call her and I'm like, hey, I'm broke down. I'm in this town and I can't get past the red light. Like I'm, I'm the officer helped me get over into the medium, but she was like, whatever, I'm getting AAA. Like, I cannot believe that you're in this town at one o'clock in the morning. Like, what in the hell? What are you doing there? I didn't even know that you had left. Like, what is going on? Da, 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 da. So we're sitting there waiting for AAA. And all of a sudden, my friend, she's like, that truck has drove by like six times. And mind you guys, we're in this little bitty tiny town where there's nothing. There's nothing. Matter of fact, I think it's just an exit for the interstate. I don't even think that there's anything because you get off this exit and then you have to drive like 20 minutes to his house and he lives in another small town. So like nobody else was driving around and I was so like consumed in what was going on that I wasn't paying attention to my surroundings. Unlike my friend, she's like, girl, this truck has drove like around like a bunch of times. I had no idea of this truck. It definitely was not Jeremy. I had no clue who he was, but he was being very fucking sketch, like driving super slow, just like looking at us. And I told Haley, I said, okay, the next time that he drove, because it was gonna be like an hour before AAA was gonna be able to get to us. I was like, okay, the next time this car drives past us, this truck, we need to keep in our memory bank everything that we can. Like literally we could see his shoulders up but I was like, we need to like memorize him just in case. Like you never know what the fuck. So we have the doors locked, wind is up and here comes the truck again. And as the truck drives by, 
literally, it was like something out of a horror movie. This person has a ski mask on and sunglasses. So, and I was like, what the fuck? Did you know we had a fucking ski mask on? And she was like, he didn't, Morgan. He did not. He did not have a ski mask on until just now. I'm like, what the fuck? So, I'm panicking, right? And my thought is, let me call Jeremy. I call Jeremy and I'm like, he answers. And I'm like, oh my God, there's this guy in a truck. He has a ski mask on. He's drove by a bunch of times. Please come out here and help us. We're waiting on AAA. Will you please come out here and sit with us? He's like, I'll be right there. Don't move. Lock the doors. Like, so concerned, right? So he comes out there and he sits with us until AAA gets there. Now, in the moment, I did not think about how the fact that this truck did not come back. Also keep in mind that Jeremy drove like a, like a really nice, uh, like brand new Chevrolet Malibu at the time. Fast forward in time. Let me just tell you all this man. So he kept trying to like get me back, like get me back, get me back, get me back. Also keep in mind that my stalker was a prime member in my life at this point. And I was petrified of everyone, did not trust anybody. He knew this. He knew, oh, he knew about Waldo. And he actually tried to get me to let him set up a Facebook account to friend Waldo and try to be friends with Waldo. Anyways, when he was trying to like win me back, do you know that this man tells me that that was him that night? That was him that he went and he had his buddy come over to his house, borrowed his buddy's truck and did that. And I was like, when did you put the fucking ski mask? Why did you have a ski mask on? He was like, I was trying to scare you so you'd call me. Fast forward. So this is after my addiction. I'm a completely different person. I've now been clean maybe two weeks and I've started like to get back on Facebook and like talk to old friends and stuff like that. Now, Jeremy was not a friend of mine on Facebook, but after I had gotten sober and got more active on Facebook, I seen that I had friends request and I went through and I started accepting friends request. Now, when I seen Jeremy's name, it didn't click at first. This had been a long time. I'd been doing drugs for a while. Like I didn't, it didn't even click. And his picture was like of him far back holding a fish. So I couldn't like make him out. So I just accepted the friends request. Anyways, um, he sends me a message and keep in mind me and Chris are already like talking at this time. He sends me a message and he's like, hey, I miss you. I hope you're doing well. You look so good, da, 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 da. I'm like, who is this? So I go to open the message and I see all the messages that he had sent me in the past and I'm like, holy fuck, this is that Jeremy. So I sent him a message really nice and I'm like, hey, I'm actually talking to somebody. You know, I made it pretty clear that me and you are never gonna be a thing again. That's still the case. Da, 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 da. It was like, oh, well, I'm talking to you from in jail, inside jail. Um, I just wanted to say hi. I wasn't like trying to talk to you like that. And I was like, oh, so what are you, you know, what happened? You know, why are you in jail? And he said, well, it was self-defense. And I was like, what are you talking about? And I, hell, I didn't even know that people could get on Facebook in jail. I don't even know how the fuck he was talking to me. I have no idea about nothing. I've heard that I guess somehow you can get tablets in there and some people sneak phones. I don't know how the fuck that he was doing this, but I did look it up. And Jeremy is in prison for attempted murder. Attempted murder. I dated a man who's now in prison for attempted murder. And after he tells me this, I'm like, okay, have a great day. And then I, then I got to thinking because he does shit like this for like attention. I'm like, he's not really in jail. And he tells me like what state he ended up getting arrested in another state. And I look and sure enough, he's in there. I'm like, how the fuck is he talking to me on Facebook? There was little characteristics that he had that where now it makes a lot of sense. Like he was very possessive and controlling and I was 21 years old. That's why I was like, fuck this. You're trying to control me. I'm 21 years old. Get the fuck ASAP. Like, I was not having it at all. And, oh my God. And then he did all that creepy shit that night. And I, after he tells me while he's in, why he's in prison, and I see the confirmation that he is actually in prison for this, I get to thinking about that night, and I'm like, 
this motherfucker. Like he fucking, like how creepy would that make you feel? I literally, that second, that second message on Facebook and I'm like, bitch, you're not gonna believe. Who the fuck is in prison for attempted, attempted murder? And I tell her and she was like, that does not surprise me at all. We probably dodged a bullet, Morgan. My dog is trying to eat a Snickers wrapper. So thank you all so much for watching today's video. Please do give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you like my story times. Be sure to go down into the description box. There will be a link to my Rise link if you would like to get yourself some surprise sterling silver jewelry. We do have rings, necklaces, and pearls. Also down in the description box is links to all of my social media. I go live every single day, sometimes more than once a day um, on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So please be sure to go and follow me on social media. I'm trying to build my platforms over there with all of you guys, and it would mean the most if you would come over there and follow me on social media. I love you guys so, so stinking much. And until the very next time, <laughs> bye y'all.